Hi, Paul and Luke. Welcome to the Lean Pub launch video for value stream mapping for software delivery teams. I was wondering if you could take a moment just to introduce yourselves first. Uh, maybe, Paul, you could start, and then uh, we'll have you talk about the book. Cool. So um, I'm Paul Hammond. So I'm a Lean Agile coach. I go up and down the stack from Dev, QA, BA, uh, project management, executive teams, funding teams, a whole lot. Luke and Luke. Okay, so Luke Courage, I'm technology and management consultant. I've got 10 years of experience in product delivery and product management, mainly in financial services. And uh, I've been working with Paul for a few years now, and I think we're both passionate about process improvements. So that's why we decided to write that book. Yes, yeah, this is uh, a re really good book. And I'm just going to share my screen because you've got this uh, excellent um, graphic to sort of start with to talk about. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share my screen and then Paul and Luke are going to direct the, the, the talk that we're going to have here uh, talking about this really, really interesting idea. So uh, please uh, go ahead, Paul. Okay, so uh, there is a classic depiction of a value stream. Um, it's in black and white. It has a not a sawtooth, but a sort of square tooth that just can, goes left to right with things that start on the left, uh, value being added with every step that's going along to the right, um, and depictions beneath. Um, maybe... Touch time is the classic understanding of the activity that is value improving, and wait time is where the work item, say a car door, is in a pile, so to speak, and has not yet been put on another car, and hasn't actually added to value as yet, so it's waiting. And we figured um, that there's perhaps a, uh, perhaps a better depiction, that if we can incorporate some aspect of time in those two, and then differentiate them out of the black and white world into a colored world of orange on some red, amber, green basis being not uh, value improving or necessarily value removing, green being value improving. And in this particular diagram as well, we have uh, defects being flowed backwards. Yeah. Now, for cars, if your headlamp or door was defective, you'd probably just discard it. Whereas in agile software delivery, uh, every single story we pick up is unique to some degree. So we don't often scrap stories if they're defective. We try and repair them, which is why they flow back upstream. And we are in this tremendously problematic world in software delivery. Luke, your thoughts? Yes. I th so I think one of the key points of a value stream mapping in manufacturing in a manufacturing context is the fact that it's quite complicated uh, because they, they have to be very precise. But in the software development world, We've got much more variation and viability, and therefore we cannot be as detailed as in manufacturing. There's another key point as well, and it's the fact that value stream mapping is usually used by uh, lean experts or 60 black, black belt, and we wanted to create something that was for the many, not for the few. So that's why we came up with that simpler approach. Yeah, it's really interesting. One thing um, you talk about in the book is uh, you'd say in, in the preface that um, I'm just going to quote you back at yourselves here. Um, unlike manufacturing, where the worker's role on the production line is obvious, knowledge work is intangible, and we need to, a tool to visualize the bigger picture. And this is just such an, like a very important point to make about things that a lot of, historically, a lot of the sort of processes that we have for sort of developing software came from manufacturing, where you could look at a process, you can see the work that people are doing, but when the work someone's doing is that, um, <laughs> and, and when the, when the, when the output is, you know, a list of, a list of commands in a process, like a, like a, like a, you know, piece of software, um, it can be, it's a lot of those processes, like the sort of like underlying principles might still apply, but how you actually do it has to be very different. And another thing you talk about when you just said, Luke, about for every, for everyone basically is the sort of, there's this clan war kind of thing that can happen in software development, which is, you know, this happens in manufacturing too, right? Where, you know, people who make the handle for the door might get mad at the people who, you know, made the panel for the door and which they argue about why the door handle doesn't fit or something like that. Uh, but if everybody had a kind of, you know, high level kind of shared way of looking at things that's designed to be a high level shared way of looking at things you can't look at, uh, then that would be a sort of really great tool to have, uh, which is why you wrote your really great book, uh, Value Stream Mapping. So thank you very much to both of you for uh, being on this video and thank you for taking the time to put your book up on LeanPub and, and uh, have a really great resource there for uh, all, uh, all the people interested in Agile and Lean and uh, software development and continuous improvement. Okay, thanks a bunch for having us, Lynn.